Hello everyone, Alex RC Freak here, coming at you with another video. This is on the Armitalian V3, okay? Newest version. Let me stick that motor right like that. Okay, so, let's get started. This is how to assemble the center differential, okay? Well, you got your spur gear. They're basically, this is technically a ring gear, it just doesn't have the angled teeth. On, on the side, it's but everyone calls these spur gears, so I'm gonna call it a spur gear just for simplicity. Um, make sure you put your bearing on first, it's pretty easy to do on both the differential cup and there, okay. And then you're gonna take these seals, these little orange seals. If you have green slime, great, if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Put some on the on your finger. And uh, stick this like that, and just kind of, you know, roll it around your finger. Take your drive cups. I like to put them up like that if they will fit. This one's will. Stick them like that on both. Making sure that your bearings are in. Okay. Double checking. All right. Now you just take it and you just put the seal on. Make sure your fingers are clean for the next seal. You're going to take it, I don't have a whole lot left in this thing, I got another one, I'm trying to use this one up, if I can. This is great stuff to have, this is team associated green slime, it's like a assembly uh, lube for seals. Um, but I'm trying to do this to where you guys can see it, hopefully you guys can see it very well. Um, bear with me if you can't. Here, let me get you a little closer here. Okay, so anyway, once you got it on, you can take one of these gears right here, spider gear. Okay, don't do it from the back, do it from the front, and just do this. It really works pretty slick. Rotate and twist. Bam, that seal is correctly seated in. Do this, rotate and twist. Now you're going to need some pliers to get that out on the differential cup because your fingers probably won't have the space so once you got them seated in easy get them seated in take it stick this pen through very carefully just like that and take this stick that set that over there Set that aside there. Oops, drop that. Okay. Take this, there's a groove right in here. See here, hold on. There's a groove right in here. You wanna line that up with this cross pin in there. See if you can see that here, hold on. See that pin? You wanna line this groove right here with that pen. Now if this pen's over too much, it'll make it hard to where this can't fully seat down. So yeah, you want to make sure you get that centered. And right now it doesn't look like it's perfectly centered. Some are, they give you a little bit of wiggle room. Some don't. Depends on the differential. So these ones don't seem to give you the wiggle room. They're just made to fit in and they're tight fit. So at least these ones seem to be on this vehicle. So, and it spins good. You want to make sure it spins. The seal feels like it's correctly stuck in there. I'm going to stick that right there out of the way for right now. Okay, so next, do not lose this gasket. Make sure to have this gasket. Oops. Drop the differential cup. Now we're going to make the uh, spider gear. So, just connect these cross pins. There's two notches here. Just put the notches together. Grab the spider gears, kind of hold them with your fingers, kind of tricky sometimes. So, uh, grab these washers, make sure they're clean, there's no like gritty uh, residue or anything like that on them, because you'll just cause yourself more issues and 
Now on this differential, there's a smooth side and this rounded corner right here, this rounded corner goes facing down to the bottom, to the bottom of the differential cup. Okay. They go facing down just so you know. Okay. So it goes, when it's installed, it goes down like towards the bottom of the diff cup. I just want to really emphasize that. Okay. Now there's a side with holes. Okay. This does not go like that. It does not, the side with the holes does not go on against the gear. The smooth side, the flat smooth side goes against the gear. Okay. Very, very, very important. Okay, so you got, got them, now you gotta grab the differential, set it inside like that. Now you can rock the differential a little bit, like rock the teeth as you're pushing it down and see how it seats them. Now you can grab your fingers if they're clean and kind of push it, pull, push like that and like that to get them to now you should be able to spin the gears. It spins very smoothly. So um, what you want to do is take your 500,000 weight. This one I'm going to be using the center differential, okay? I'm going to be using 500,000 weight. Now you got to scoop this out. So make sure you have a clean flat head screwdriver to scoop this out with. And a clean screwdriver. Make sure it's clean. Key feature or keyword here, maybe even use a smaller one to you know scrape it off. Now, you could put if you wanted to lock this, if you wanted to lock this inner diff, you could put silly putty in here, which does work very well, um, or you could use the Traxxas 20 million weight X max center differential fluid and it will lock your basically the X the tracks of stuff will give it a little bit of leeway but it'll basically lock it depending on how packed you make that uh differential so that's the only thing with this 500,000 you gotta scoop it out and it's kind of a pain to scoop out sometimes so yeah, it's better to have like a two screwdriver method when you're doing this, you know, and just kind of push it in there. It's kind of trying to keep the differential from tipping over is pretty hard. But yeah, you just scoop it. Keep that like that. So you want to keep these clean. So you just pack it. This one looks like it's getting pretty full. That's what I have in my Creighton is 500,000 weight and I actually like it. It's perfect. So this, I'm going to put some around the edge of this with my flathead. And I'm going to stick the seal to the diff cup, the differential seal to the diff cup. So, and the reason why I packed this diff so full is because I want it mostly locked, but I still want it to give. So. Um, just a little teensy, teensy bit, so I don't want it to give a lot. So um, that's why I kind of packed the differential, loaded it up with 500,000 weight diff fluid, just in case you're wondering. But you want to keep your tools clean when you're doing that, as clean as possible. Wipe them off, a clean rag, and our paper towel, and do that. So here's what you can do with this gasket here. Is stick it on just like so. Okay. That way you're lined up that 500,000 weight fluid will hold it for you you take your finger wipe off the excess wipe off your fingers now very easy to do you just take this and uh, line up the holes as best you can and stick it in together okay and you stick your four screws in now I'm going to be using, I know a lot of people say I should run 18, which I, was, I said that earlier in my videos too, 
um, that seem to be common to me. I should run 18 on this, which is perfect for track use. But honestly, I'm probably, I got to been thinking about it today, kind of all day. I'm probably going to most likely speed run this thing. So, um, for now, uh, cause I hear my local people at my track where I live, the people that are actually, uh, like the big head honchos of the track are kind of D bags. So from what I've heard, like they've gotten some new owners and they're kind of D bags. That's what my local hobby shop has told me. Um, and so a lot of stuff has changed cause I've been out of racing for a while actually. And, uh, I don't know if I want to be involved in that because there is some D-bags when you go RC racing that think that they're the, you know, they're the shit because they got an RC8 T 3.1 E, you know, it's all set up and they're all sponsored. So everything's free for them. You know what I'm saying? They get, they're used to the handouts, you know, why, you know, people like you and me, they, you know, they have to work and, you know, build their stuff and, you know, buy it and work on it from the ground up. You know, they don't have everything handed out to them. I don't, I don't do the handout thing. That ain't me as a person. So you just tighten these evenly. I'm going to tighten those other two. Okay. So one thing I just want to make a note of. When you tighten this, make sure that if there's any residue of fluid around this edge, especially on the center differential, that you clean it as best as possible. You wipe it off. So uh, it's really, really important so you don't get like grease and stuff attracting to it. And you want to clean off your differential clip with actual clean paper towel because dirt and everything will cling to it and make it a real pain in the rear for you if you run off-road. Now with the 20 tooth pinion, you really shouldn't be doing off-road use. And if you are, it should be very light off-road use, to say the least. So, anyway. So you got your motor out. I put a 20-tooth pinion that I had lying around. This is Mod 1 gearing, just so you guys know. Um, and I already put it on there. It's a Castle Creations 20-tooth pinion. Um, this is not the one that comes with the kit. This is one I had lying around that's, like, brand new. I think I used it, like, maybe once. So, if that... But aluminum motor mount. So you just take it, make sure the bearings are in there, there's no shims needed, and you just take it. I already adjusted the gear mesh for it. Now listen. You just want a little bit of slop. And that's the motor. That's the motor magnets you're hearing. But you want to have that slop. And then if you notice on this. There's this narrower part and there's this big part down here. This big part goes towards the chassis and this narrower part goes towards the top. And you're going to want to take it and just stick it on. Just like that. And it clips on nice and firm. So basically once you do that, just take it. You got four screws. You do not need Loctite on the two front plastic ones. But on the back, you're gonna you you're gonna want to use Loctite. This already has Loctite on it, but I actually may put just a smidge more just because that's the right thing to do. I don't have to worry about loosening up on me. So. Yeah, these are three millimeter button head screws. There's four of them doing it in a crisscross pattern when you're going to tighten them. You know, you can get them all evenly down. You just tighten them evenly on a crisscross pattern. So, let me just get this one started before this Loctite dries up. Okay. I just got them barely snug, so I'm just going in on this side. I'm just trying to do it evenly, because you want to make sure to do it evenly. It's always very important.
Okay, that one's getting tight. This one's getting tight. That one's getting tight. And there we go. Take your rig, wipe up any excess Loctite. If it bugs you that much, some people I guess it doesn't really bug. Me, I'm picky. Way picky. So anyway, so now what you want to do is kind of clean off your table a little bit here. That is how you assemble your uh, center differential. Just like that. Now it's ready to be dropped in to the uh, vehicle. That is how you assemble it. And you want to make sure to get this pinion gear right here. Where it's centered on the spur gear. So you want to make sure you get that centered. Make sure the scrub screw is in there. And it's flush with the outside of the case. It's not like lost or missing because it'll leak out your fluid or um, you'll create a lot of dirt in there. So, and still leak out your fluid if you have fluid in there. So, um, yeah, it'd be a pretty big mess. But yeah, so it's all built. I wish they would have did this piece in aluminum, but they do make it in aluminum. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'll be doing the install video. Thanks for watching. Alex RC Freak. Out. Peace.